Hello everyone, Danny from DP and Hub over here and today I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to set up actually a Aether node using DigitalOcean on a VPS. DigitalOcean I'm just going to use because it's first a great service but they are not the best one in terms of you want to share a lot of information with Aether. There are some other better providers that I'm going to link in the video but I'm going to use DigitalOcean just because it's really fast to set up a new node and let's go. So basically I'm here in the DigitalOcean website I am going to create a new droplet. Droplet is basically a server that we're gonna be using for our ATOR node. I'm gonna select, I wanted this node to be in London, for example. For I'm gonna select Ubuntu, and I'm gonna go here with the version 23, that's okay. Actually, I'm gonna use 22.04. So the 04 are LTS version, so they can have better support over time. And, um, for the basic, I, we don't need something too, too beefy for this, but of course, if you want to have a node that does a lot of bandwidth, then you should at least have one gigabyte of RAM. So let's go here, have a regular SSD that's more than enough. And then you can select this server here because the, there's some cheap ones here, but let's go for the $6 per month because you can have one gigabyte of RAM, 25 gigs of disk, we don't need that much, and one terabyte of transfer. You can always pay a little bit more for transfer afterwards as well. So let's go for that. I'm going to create the droplet, which is basically setting up the server. While this is building, let me just bring here to this page. I'm going to have also have this link for this, which is the link where you're going to have all the ATOR education. You know, you can have about the, the their hardware, how to set up a node in Mac, Windows, Linux, etc. And they have a quick install, which is like basically all you need to do is run this code in the server. And then everything or almost everything is going to be set up for you. Let's just wait for this droplet to be finished setting up. <clears throat> Depending on how you set up your node, you're going to receive the login and password for the for the terminal on your email. So I this is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, so setting up this ATOR node. I have done in the past, like long, long, long time ago, like, I don't know, six, six seven years ago. So for the ATOR is a new one. So uh, ATOR tutorial, that's the name of my node. <clears throat> it's gonna change the name. And then you're gonna have like the bandwidth, CPU usage. This is a pretty nice interface that that DigitalOcean have. Also in the video, I'm gonna put a link and referral that you guys can create an account. I think you get some free credits there to play around with that to see actually if it's worth or not to do using DigitalOcean. And cool. So you're gonna pick the IP address of the server the ssh root at let me just make sure to make this a bit bigger we have here the server right this was the name of the server i want to change something nicer this is just a thing that i'm going to do here i'm going to restart this server just so that we can have a nicer name when we do that all right, you see, root at ATAR education now. We have the server here. You can see it has one gigabyte of RAM. It's pretty chill. I can go ahead and just make sure everything's up to date. Let's see, get update. Let's make sure all the packages are the last version. While this install, let's go back to the education panel. And it says here, I'm gonna make it bigger. If you're running the Debian-based distribution where you are with Ubuntu is, you can copy the method below in Linux Terminal and install the Anon package instantaneously. Follow this link for more descriptive instructions to use. Okay. Kudos for the guys who built this. They did an amazing job. Um, and yeah, all you need to do is super simple. That's for just installing the ATOR node. And then, of course, we're going to have to install the Nix platform to mo monitor that inside the terminal. All right, so our system is up to date and installed. Now I'm just gonna go back here again, just make sure I copy the right thing, copy, and I'm gonna paste here, paste. Boom, yes. And the magic begins. Let's call my node deep in hub. Daniel at exploit.net, for example. 
I don't have a family, so I can just leave it empty. Enter bandwidth in my megabit. Let's put gigabit. So 100, 1000. 1000. Just for example, port default 9001. It's okay. All right. <clears throat> a Anon installation is complete. Amazing. All right. So now let's clear this. What we're going to do is going to install actually the Nix platform. So we're just going to do like a apt get install nix nix is the platform that you can actually see the network running and everything okay, we'll install let's check the documentation again Doo -doo -doo. let's check this link it says when install there's a configuration you can actually have the nickname for the the relay Contact information is required for you to enter your eth Ethereum wallet address. So basically, okay, yeah, we have it here. Let me just increase. So these are this is actually the commands that you need to do to start, restart, and stop the server. So let's just do that. sudo system control restart and on. And then you can just type nix. Boom shakalaka, it's working. <laughs> it's too easy. Uh, so basically you have ATAR education node is connected. It's live. You can see here the information about the CPU usage, you know, how much RAM. And then you can also already see that there are some kilobytes being trafficked in the network. So basically <laughs> that's all you need to do, you know. You set up a you set up the server, you know, log into the top of the server, update all the code, paste that script, press enter, and put the names and etc. And that's super easy, right? Um, okay, let's figure out how to actually add my Ethereum wallet. To know that, let me just get some random wallet to test. But first, let's see. Latest version. Here, if you want to check the logs, let's figure out. Okay, you can see the logs. You know, a little tail here to see things running. So everything that's happening is going to be shown here. I think the Nix show the same thing as well. And oh, here, you know, relay configuration. Let's get out here. Let's clear. Boom. We're gonna where the log files are going to be. The part that I'm going to use. Nickname. I need to go here and here I need to enter some Ethereum wallet. I'm just going to get some random wallet from Etherscan. Boom. So contact information is the email and the wallet. And then I'm going to exit. Yes. Boom. Saved. And then we're going to do that system control. Restart. You know. Then I go back to the next one. And then it should be working. And yep, that's all you need to do. It's super simple. Rock on, guys.